Yo guys, Sam here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you my favorite apps and games for the Dynamic Island on the iPhone 14 Pro. There is so much you can do with this that I didn't even know about before making this video, so I think you're gonna love it. If you're excited, drop a like and hit subscribe for more. Let's jump into the first app, Lock Launcher. This app, like pretty much everything else, is free, but also offers in-app purchases. And when we go over here to settings and then tap on live activities, you can see all the customization you get, like adding the clock, CPU usage, promo, motion rate, frame rate, and even battery percentage to the island. And once you've configured it how you like, just go back to your home screen and you can see right there, wherever you are on your phone, you get whatever information you selected. I didn't actually know that Apple allowed us to do this, but yeah, being able to see things like your battery or CPU is just so sick. And when you tap and hold on the island, you get access to even more. I selected four of my favorite apps, but you could even select Wi-Fi settings or other toggles up here too. It is so much fun fun, again, completely free, and link is below. Now, if there's only one thing you download from this list and you just got your iPhone 14, please make it be Hit the Island. This was the original Dynamic Island app that is just Pong that uses the actual hardware element of it to play a game. It's gotten upgraded seriously since it first came out. There's now power-ups and other bonuses, and the haptics and gameplay are just so good here. Do you need this? Absolutely not, but being completely free, it's just a must download. Next up, guys, we're adopting a pet with Pixel Pals, which allows you to get a custom little guy in your dynamic island. Now, there's only a couple that are free, but if you want access to more, there's a premium option. I'm just going to pick old Rupert here, and you can customize some things in the settings. And then when you go back to your home screen, there's your little guy in the island. From here, he follows you around your entire phone, and by tapping and holding, you can feed him, even play with him with the little wand. You can make him chase around. Again, this is very similar to the last one, where it doesn't exactly help advance your life, unlike the other apps that we're going to talk about. But come on, being able to have a pet and feed him just like a Neopet, I mean, this is all I've ever wanted on my iPhone 14 Pro. Now listen, when you do want to focus and really get something done, check out Off Screen, which has features like being able to show you your screen time and how much you've picked up your phone. But I use it in the island by setting a focus timer. And when you set this and go back to your home screen, it will follow you around your phone and count down by the second for whatever you're trying to achieve. Now historically, I've never been a huge fan of apps like this, but I got to say there's something about seeing that timer go down second by second that is a constant reminder to genuinely focus and not just have it fade into the background like before. Next up, if you care about sports at all, getting sports alerts is a must because as the name suggests, it allows you to follow teams and games and have it update second by second in the dynamic island. So you can see your favorite teams compete with each other, see who's up, and even tap and hold for more information about what is exactly happening in the game. Really, if there's one app that encapsulates the full potential and usefulness of the island, it is this app. But if you care about football, or as we call it here in the US, soccer, you've got FootMob as well, which specifically focuses on soccer and generally has a better user interface. But there were no games happening when I recorded, so just imagine the other one, but with soccer teams. Now, if you live by an ocean and you want to know more information about the tides, there's this beautiful app called Tide Guide that also got updated to support the dynamic island. And it will show you things like the tide graph, the next tide, solar or lunar stuff too. And if you think I know any of what this means, means I don't. I just think it's absolutely sick that you can show this in the dynamic island and it's a live activity. I don't want to spend much more time on this, but it is cool that if, you know, if I'm ever visiting an ocean, I know how to find it in the dynamic island. Way more useful to me as somebody who makes content is when the sun sets every day and when I run out of natural light. And that's what Alpine Glow does. It shows you in the dynamic island when the sun is going to set. Now it's set literally moments before I recorded this video, so it wouldn't let me track it. But here's a screenshot from the the developer of what it looks like. And yes, it looks absolutely beautiful. Now, following that, let's say you want to go to the grocery store and shop for stuff. You know how you constantly have to unlock your phone and go back to your list. What if you could have that as a live activity and in the island? You can do that with the grocery app. Just set up a list and also make a geofence around a grocery store. And whenever you go to that area, automatically it will show you your list and also show you what's on there. And as you go back into the app and check things off, it's just ever present reminding you that you have a couple of more things to get. This one actually really surprised me. I didn't have high hopes, but it was actually really useful. Now, what I did expect a lot out of and what rose to the occasion was Smart Gym, which admittedly is mainly a paid app, but they give you a couple workouts for free, which is enough to see how it works with the island. Essentially, as you go through sets and reps and exercises, it will show you not only what you're supposed to be doing as a graphic when you tap and hold on it, it gives you a countdown, it shows you your rest periods, and seems to be an incredibly helpful tool, especially if you're not familiar 
familiar with working out. For me, this is something I would have never thought of as an application for the island, but it's really a great idea. But what tops the list for great ideas here is Flighty. And I know I said if there's one app you should download, it was like the ping pong one, but really, if you've ever flown on a flight, this is not sponsored, I just can't say enough good things about this app. Flighty is not only my favorite flight tracking app, the integration in the island is just next level, showing you the time to departure, the time between your plane taxiing and going to the gate, and even showing you at a glance your gate that you have to walk to. When you tap and hold, you get even more information about it, and this has saved me more times than you would imagine. Just being able to see that constantly instead of going back to the pass or going back to the United app to see what gate you're supposed to be at. It's right there in front of you at all times. And unfortunately, that's also why I think this is the only app on the list that you do have to pay for to get the stuff in the Dynamic Island, but I've been paying for it yearly, and I gotta say it's worth every penny. I have no regrets whatsoever. Now, finally, Uber has also been updated with the island, but rather than wasting somebody's time and calling an Uber I'm never gonna take, I just wanna show you what it looks like. It seems to look different whether you're getting food or just taking a car, but it shows you in the island this little pop-up of a car, and you can even press and hold to see your progress on the way to the destination. Again, you can use your phone and get this on the fly. You don't have to just sit in the Uber app and guess where you're at. It's the final great example of just how powerful the Dynamic Island can be, and while so many people say it's mid and not useful, I don't know, man. I've really enjoyed my time with all of these apps, and whether it's petting my little dog or seeing the time the sun sets, this iPhone 14 Pro, I'm impressed, man. So links to everything that I talked about are down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you learned something new, drop a like, share it with somebody else, and of course, hit subscribe so you learn more about this iPhone in the future. All right, I've been Sam. Hope you guys are doing well, and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.